How do I handle Master Eric? Well, you train like mad so you can beat him, or... Or what? Or you train and you talk to Casper. He's got a few tricks up his sleeve. <sighs> Looks like I'm going to have to fight against Master Eric. Ha! <laughs> Don't fancy your chances. Can you help me? Against Eric. Eric's decent, but he's had a dodgy past and somewhere during it he got himself a charm sword. You don't stand a chance while he's got that. Blades are frowned on here, but the Inquisition turn a blind eye when it's Eric. The recruits need training and right now he is the best trainer around. I'm betting words alone won't get this sword off him. No. He does loosen up after a drink, though. Only time I've heard him talk about his past. And talking about his past gets him talking about fights he's had. And that'll work? Sure. Once he's drunk a few bottles, then hit him with the hard stuff. Something that'll disconnect his mouth from his brain. If he starts bragging, you might be able to get that sword off him. You could even get him to take a handicap. Give him a lousy weapon. Let him prove himself to you. Where can I get some hard stuff? Dolman's your man for that. He has all sorts in the cellar. Wine and mage wines. They have a powerful kick. They're said to contain actual magic. Try that, and a couple of jugs of regular wine first to soften him up. They don't like blades here. So how can I get a bad one? Maybe Carlson, our smith, has something knocking about. I'll have to pick this, or find the key. I'm looking for some kind of really bad weapon. Something lousy, something rusty. Are you trying to insult me? No, I'm serious. I need something really lousy. Look, I don't make lousy weapons. This is about Hemlar's murder, and Master Eric. I don't get involved in monastery politics. I know you're a good smith. Damn right. I'm not questioning your abilities, but don't you have some rusty old specimen knocking about? Hmm, maybe. Yeah, perhaps there's one. I've got something made by one of me witless apprentices. You have? It's old and rusty. I only keep it to show people exactly how not to make swords. That's exactly what I want. But it's heavy, unwieldy, and dull. It's probably the worst sword in the world. And that's exactly what I'm looking for. Well, I'll let you have it. But don't tell anyone I gave it to you. Show me your goods. Well, novice. Hemlar has been murdered. Yes, news spreads quickly here. Soon the whole monastery will know about it. But of course, everyone claims to have neither seen nor heard a thing. And that makes my search for the killer all the harder. You have been appointed investigator. I wish you success. Where can I find the other masters? I will tell you that when the time comes. First, finish your basic training. Only then will you beat them. About Hemlar. When did the murder happen? It appears Hemlar was killed at the time you arrived. Since then, no one has left the monastery. Therefore, we must assume... That the killer is still here. There are those who pointed their finger at you. You'll need to be certain before you point your finger at anyone else. 
Why was Hemlar murdered? That is a good question. Once you know the answer to why he was killed, you should find it much easier to discover who killed him. Any suggestions where I should start? Perhaps where Hemla was found. The novice Casper is responsible for the chambers. He also trades with many of the recruits. And he must see a lot of what happens here. Talk to him. Tell him I have assigned him to help you. I have come to be tested. Enlightenment is found in many places. Seek trust and wisdom in combat. Right. You mean I should fight? Unraveling the meaning of my words is the first part of your test. I hope you know how to behave in someone else's house. You should get some training. Who could teach me to pick locks? Keep your hands where I can see them. There's no point in sneaking if somebody can here? see you. You should get some training. Nice one. Who are you? What are you doing here? I'm new. I'm in the order like you. Just met you, and you're my friend, eh? You're new. You get stew. Those are the orders. Here's the stew. Hey, uh, found any gold? I lost some around here. Ha! Do you really think that'd still be here? Have you got any idea of the sort of people who pass by here? Yep. Looks like it's gone for good. Do you recognize this blade? Never seen it before in my life. Take a closer look at it. It's not mine. I've never seen it. Now sod off. Carlson knows this knife. So why are you telling me? He knows it's one of yours. Then why did you need to ask me? Your knife is the weapon which killed Hemla. Which makes you a suspect. Maybe someone stole it from me. Yeah. Maybe someone framed me. Did you think of that? Smart ass.
Now who could teach me to pick locks? Please don't disturb me. Nothing here worth my time. I'm sure you have things to do. How do I get out of the monastery? <laughs> That's exactly what I asked when they forced me in here. But don't worry. Someday they'll open the gate. Someday? Master Ignatius tells Pallas who can use the gate. But he's a pawn for the Inquisition like the rest of us. So, get comfortable. Have a look around at your own pace before you're packed off to the ruins. Ignatius? Taylor told me about him. Well, if you apply yourself to your studies, you'll soon find yourself in his presence. Stop there, brother. Here, some stew for a hungry guard. This is cold. Do you want it or not? I want it. All right, you can have a look in there. Just don't tell anyone or get noticed. And stay away from the crypt and for the sake of the flame, don't touch anything. You must have to keep your concentration as a guard. That's for sure. People will try and pull all sorts of funny business if you don't keep an eye open. It's tough, but you won't find me letting my guard down. Hours of boredom, all to be ready for that one moment of excitement, eh? What reason do you have for staring at me? Yeah! What's got into you? In the old days, Berenger, a mage, taught the art of combat, the art of fighting with the staff. He once said to his student, I can show you the path, but you must walk it yourself.
A little more for me. Haven't you anything else to do? What can you teach me? I'd like to learn how to forge a weapon. All right. I'll show you something simple. A one-handed sword. To make any kind of sword, you need a blank. That's your basic material. Then, you have to heat the blank on the forge. When it glows, it means that the steel is hot enough to be beaten into shape on the handle. After you've done that, you quench the blade to temper it, and then you sharpen it on the whetstone. Is it only swords I can learn to forge? I can teach you how to create simple magical jewellery. Although, I much prefer working with blades myself. For jewellery, you'll need a goldsmith's table. Now, what makes the items magical are the precious stones you put in them. You need a fair bit of skill to properly set your gems in a ring or amulet. I want to learn how to forge bastard swords. Well, larger swords are a lot more challenging. See. A large blade cools faster, means you have to work quicker and more precisely. Grab the hammer higher up, then you don't need as much power and you can work faster. That precision will also help you with goldsmithing. You can create finer pieces of jewellery using the same technique. sent to relieve me. About time. I'm dog tired. You want me to muck out Dunn? I thought you were here to relieve me. Come on. I wouldn't ask you to do it for nothing. What are you offering? I'll give you a bottle of something special. A bottle of fire flush. What's fire flush? It's a mage wine. One you have to be careful of. Strong, is it? Blow your socks off and curl your toes at the same time. And very difficult to get hold of. What would I want with special wine? Keep it for a special occasion. I mean, if you were to give this to a special someone, they'd feel great. Couple of sips, they wouldn't know what they were saying. It's a mage wine to save for special occasions, is fire flush. I mean, I can get you wine wine as well, but this is your wine plus. Your wine extra, your wink and your nod. Do you look after the wine cellar? I have the noble title of Mage's Cellar Master. I received the wine cellar key from Master Ignatius himself. So what do the mages think about you trading their wine? They don't mind. They have other things to worry about. The future looks rather grim as I see it, so why not crack open a bottle or two? So, if you ever need it, I can slip you a couple of bottles. Thanks. I'll remember that. Yes, and uh, if you need special abilities, <laughs> shall we say, I'm your man. What special abilities? Ones that not every warrior of the Order has. Such as? I'm talking about dexterity. Slight of hand, 
relieving pockets of their burden? What? You're a thief? Shush. Reformed thief. Reformed. I hardly take a thing these days. Why are you digging a dung heap? Did you upset someone? No, it just needs to be done. So they send someone of my talents to shovel shit for days. It's about time somebody else took care of this crap. What can you teach me? Give me the key to the cellar. This is no mere cellar key. It's the key to utter bliss. Then give me the key to bliss. You might as well ask me to tear out my heart and hand it to you. Look, I only want to borrow it. No, absolutely out of the question. I'll see if I can find someone to relieve you. You won't leave me up shit creek, as it were. All right, all right. I'll give you the bottle I promised, on trust. I trust you, right? You have an honest face. Mine, so do most of the thieves I know, uh, new. It's their dishonest hands you have to worry about. Get hold of a novice to take my place. They're usually made to sweep up anyway. Uh, I mean the other novices, of course, not you. I have a question about picking pockets. All right, remember, the most important thing is to distract your target. It's the only way you can successfully steal from them. Now who could teach me to pick locks? I hope it doesn't rain. I've had enough rain. Don't touch anything. What? Do you trade with recruits? I do business with anyone who's got gold. I ain't fussy. But no weed and no weapons because I ain't stupid either. Anything else I can get you. Show me what you've got. I'm on an assignment from the Inquisitor. Really? What's the old man got you doing? I'm supposed to find Hemlar's killer. Ha <laughs> ha! Rather you than me. It's both of us, actually. Master Vitus said you're to help me. What? You're joking, ain't you? Afraid not. Oh, that's all I need. Okay, let's get this thing wrapped up quickly. I don't want to get on the Inquisitor's bad side. What do you know about Hemlar? Ex-con, shifty type, scuttled around. Quiet too. You never knew what he was thinking. Shifty and quiet isn't going to get us far. What about clues? Have you searched his room? I searched the room and Hemlar's body. Did you find anything? I found some food. Was Hemlar poisoned? No. So I doubt that's of any importance. You might as well keep it. I found a small amount of gold. Hemlar always came across as having a fair amount of gold. Maybe he spent it. Or someone took it. And left the rest to cover his tracks. Maybe. You might as well keep what you found. Should be some reward for your work, eh? I found some Bruegel weed. Not a surprise. He was dealing the stuff. And you didn't think that was something to tell me straight away? Do you know where he got his supply? He certainly didn't grow it himself. You'd never get away with that in here. 
Must have got it from outside. Don't know how. Hemlar wasn't allowed to leave the monastery. So, he must have had a supplier on the outside. Or who had permission to leave the monastery. I found a knife in Hemlar's room. Not many blades in this place. There's dry blood on it too. Hey, have you just given me the thing that killed him? I think it is the murder weapon. But why leave it there? Have you seen this knife before? Looks like one of Harlock's kitchen knives. Could be that the blood just came from the kitchens. Or am I being naive? Any idea who was supplying Hemlar? Well, don't look at me. I partake, but that's it. A lot of people smoke. Not much else to do here. The powers that be must know. Turn a blind eye. But whoever was supplying Hemlar must have been someone who could leave the monastery. Who does that leave us with? You need to talk to Master Pallas. He's in charge of the gate. You can relieve Dolman from his work, Casper. What work? Digging over the dung heap. Yeah. Thanks for that job opportunity. I think I'll pass. Hey Taylor, it's time for you to take care of the dung heap. And what are you offering? Offering? Well, I have no problem with getting dirty, but everything has a price. What's your price for dealing with the dung heap? Harlock stew. It's about the only decent thing to eat in here, and he only makes it once in a blue moon. And you want my share? Yes. For a task you're supposed to do anyway. Okay, fine. Then just bring me ten apples instead. Fruit keeps you regular. You don't want to be corked up in a place like this. Here are the apples you wanted. Thanks. I'll get down the dung heap right away. Show me what you've got. Show me what you've got. Keep your hands where I can see them. How are you doing? Any word on a replacement excrement relocation officer? I found you a new shit shoveler, if that's what you mean. I know, I've seen them. Thank you. I'd better go and check on the wine. Harlock has some top quality wine. I'd better taste it. Make sure it's not gone off. Why not try a few? Make doubly sure. Things in the ruin, things in the wood, there are things everywhere. Sneaking around, are you? What do you want here? About Hemlar. Hemlar was dealing Bruegelweed. Hmm. What do you think? 
You're making progress. You've spoken to Casper, I suppose. He's a bright lad. Work with him and report to me once you've found the murderer. I assume you no longer need the corpse for your investigations. I'll take care of it, so the Templar may go to his final rest. I have proved myself to Dolmen. I have earned his trust. In times of battle, it is important to know whom one can trust, and I fear battle is what awaits us. I have found wisdom in combat. You could have told me it was a book. Only a child expects the world to contain straight answers. Even life itself is a riddle. You may keep the book, read it, if you've not already done so. When you're finished, give it to someone else who'll read it. Your test has been successfully completed. Does this mean you will train me? You have proven yourself worthy of instruction. What can you teach me? Why are you here? Stop quiet. I'm thinking. Got this bottle of wine. Maybe we can have a drink. A talk. I didn't ask you to bring me wine. No. But as a master, you deserve it. I shouldn't. Doesn't bring out the best in me. Ah, hell's been a long week. Go ahead. You seem to have the trainees here under control. Most have had hard lives and tough breaks. We always need fighters, and I can't see that changing anytime soon. Staff fighters, sword fighters, any kind. They'll all be needed, mark my words. How did you end up here, in charge of the recruits? Because I know how to handle these men properly. Respect goes a long way. It's not all about shouting and throwing your weight around. If you want that, go see Brogar in the Don's camp. I prefer to keep my combat in the arena. Come on, I'll show you. Put your weapon down. You don't yes. know. No, this time I can. Dang! Oh. Come on! Oh. Oh. Again! Oh. Oh. That's the way! Oh. 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 Come on! Oh. Oh. Go! Finish him! Again! 
finish him. Ah. Ah. That's the way. Yeah. Yeah. the way yeah Him. Ah. Ah. Come on. That's the way. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Go. Yeah. Again. Yeah. Come on! Ha! Ah! Yeah! Ah! Hey. Again! Ha! Ah! Ha! Come on! Ah! Go! Ah! Ha! Ah! That's the yeah. way! Go! Ah! Ah! Ha! That's the way! Ah, come on! Ah! Ah! That's the way! Ah! Again! Ah! Yeah! 
Go! That's the way! Ah! Ah! Again! Ah! Yeah! Come on! Ah! 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 Uh. Again! Uh. Let's see your goal. You seem to have the trainees here under control. Most have had hard lives and tough breaks. We always need fighters, and I can't see that changing anytime soon. Staff fighters, sword fighters, any kind. They'll all be needed, mark my words. So, you don't always fight with a staff? It wasn't where I started. I'm originally a sword fighter, you know. Sword handed down through generations of my family. Really? Yeah, family is important, you know. I mean, don't get me wrong, the staff is a fine weapon. With a good sword in my hand, I defy any man to stand against me. But only as long as you have a good sword, right? Well, I mean, of course, the sword is important, but the person who wields it, that's where the true strength lies. Really? See me, lad? I expect I could knock you down with a rusty sword. You could beat me with a lousy sword. If you had one here, lad, I'd show you. I do have a pretty bad sword, but I don't think it's fair to challenge you in your state. My state? I could beat you twice as drunk and half as ready. You take my sword, I'll take yours, and I'll still beat you. Come on, lad, let's go to the arena. I'll show you who's in a state. I'm ready for you this time. Let's see. If you are, then maybe you're ready for what's out there, too. You don't know who you're ah. messing with. Ah. Ha. Ah. Ah.
Ah, good work. Ah, I showed a degree of talent. I feel sick. Does that make me the master now? Ha! Ah, keep that up for five or six more years, and then, maybe, you did well. You're a natural with a staff. Thanks. As far as I'm concerned, you're ready for whatever this place tries to throw at you. Go and see Vitus, and good luck to you. My basic training is complete. A warrior's training is never complete. Do not forget that. However, you have shown discipline. It's now time to take your training further. Vince will allow you into the upper parts of the monastery. Go now, and continue your training. Tell me about the other masters. You have already encountered Master Pallas. He received you at the gate. You will find the other masters in the upper part of the monastery. Illumar can teach you how to write scrolls. Cyrus deals with artifacts from the temple ruins. Ignatius the Wise you will find in the Holy Hall. Master Abrax, our alchemist, goes where he wishes. And all of them will train me. This is a place of learning. All the masters revere knowledge. I need the names of everyone allowed to leave the monastery. Do you? And you need these names, why? I'm investigating Hemlar's murder. I see. Murder is a serious business. However, I hope you aren't neglecting your basic training to carry this out. No, I wouldn't neglect my training. Tell me how far you've got and I will see if I can help. I've advanced my training. Good. Training is vital. I have here a list. This list names all those who has permission to leave the monastery recently. <clears throat> that will be a great help. Good. Then continue your investigation. Don't you have something to do? What? Take that pretty face somewhere else. Did you know Hemlar? Of course. This is a small place. Not knowing someone is damn difficult. Did you have much to do with him? No. He just got his staff and... and... And what? Well, now and again he sold people some Bruegel weed. Everyone knew what he did. It was the monastery's worst kept secret. What can you tell me about Hemlar? Hemlar? Never got to know him. He's been here longer than us, so he didn't talk to new recruits. You must know something about him. Well, he spent a lot of time with Harlock in the kitchen. And? Harlock isn't the sort that talks much, but apparently the two of them had things to talk about. But you'll have to ask Harlock what it was.
I've got worries enough of my own. Pallas gave me a list of everyone who can leave the monastery. Let's have a look then. One of these people must have been Hemlar's partner. I don't know. Could be any one of them. You'll have to get them on their own, see what they know. Enzo and Ash are in the upper area of the monastery during the day though. You're going to have to wait until nightfall to talk to them. That's when they return to their chambers. Unless you manage to finish basic training, then you'll get access to the upper monastery. What about you? You're on the list. You think I'd risk getting caught doing that? You stick out and cause trouble here, you get sent to the ruins. You could be lying. Yeah, but I ain't. Come on, would I be helping you if I was? You can keep questioning me, but you'll be wasting your time. What do you know about Hemlar? Hemlar? Grumpy git. Always sneaking about. You didn't like him? Most of us who bought from Hemlar didn't like him. Just what he sold. Dealing with Hemlar was just a necessary evil. What did he sell? Brugelweed. Smokes. Inflated prices though. He knew it was hard to get in here. You seem annoyed. Well he went and got himself murdered, didn't he? So now no Hemlar and no Brugel either. What do you want here? Tucker says you talked with Hemler quite often. He came here a lot, yes. He liked good food. Good food? Yep, if you want to know. We talked about cooking. Stews, soups, pastry, meat. Hemler wanted to be a chef. You expect me to believe you were exchanging recipes? Believe what you like. Halt. Stranger. I've finished my training. I have permission. Then you can enter the upper area of the monastery. Ah, a novice searching for magical enlightenment. And who are you? My name is Enzo. I too am a seeker of knowledge. Found any yet? Indeed. The books are very illuminating. You will learn much from them. Books, knowledge. I'll remember that. And I also advise you not to try entering the Holy Hall if you do not have permission. Why? Do you see those guards? Well, their fists are what you get if you're lucky. If you're not, you'll get that and punishment detail. I strayed and now I must sweep the floors instead of studying. Well, maybe you'll find enlightenment in that. You think so? Really? Well, then I must devote myself harder to it. Do you know much about Hemlar? I believe he is one of the recruits. He once tried to sell me some Bruegel, but I did not wish to receive enlightenment that way. Hey, got a smoke to spare? I don't touch that stuff. Rot's your brain, and the brain is all you have, whatever you do. Your body will fail you, but the brain won't. 